is going to take the Christians off the face of the earth in three weeks on the Feast of Trumpets. And the dumb people that have never invested in God's word. This Karen is a big believer in the president. In the Great Tribulation, people in America are going to be killing each other. Money will be worth nothing. Donald Trump will not be in the White House because he's a Christian. Yes, a Christian. Let's review. You mentioned the Bible. You've been talking about how it's your favorite book. I'm wondering what one or two of your most favorite Bible uh, verses are well, and why. I, I wouldn't want to get into it because to me that's very personal. You know, when I talk about the Bible, it's very personal. So I don't want to get into there's verses. No, there's I don't no want verse, to get into... A, there's no, no verse I, that means I, a I lot just, to you that you think about or cite? The, the Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into specifics. Even to cite a verse that no, you like? No, I don't want to do that. I mean, an Old okay. Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. Nailed it. Back to Karen. He has Christians pray for him on a regular basis. If y'all had any sense, you'd be home watching the Republic National Convention to save this, the best country in the world. This is the result. We've just had to run about a block as police moved in. We've been uh, fired at with rubber bullets. This is exactly what it looks like. Of this, a pipe dream of BS. By the third month, an abortion is taking a child's, first its arm, then its leg, then its arm, then its body, and then they okay. break what they call the walnut. So let's say you're a three month old embryo and you're inside your mom. Do you want your leg taken off and you're alive and you feel every bit of it? Well, then I didn't they take really, your next leg off. I didn't remember being an embryo. Nice. Fantastic logic stuck the landing. Okay, have a nice day. Black Lives Matter, have a nice day. Love you. White Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter. And ending with the sad reality of listing the counter to inclusion slogans of exclusion. Because she is easily influenced by deceit. You can hear it once. All lives matter. From a deceitful administration. Yes, this is going to take the Christians yeah. off the face of the earth on the Feast of Trumpets. Yeah. And then the tribulation, yeah, yeah is going to start. Okay, people are going to be killing each other for their stuff. Money will be worth nothing. Donald Trump will be here. And guess who's going to make you take the chip in your hand? Barack Obama. Ah, yes, never forget. It is always Obama's fault. Because, of course, who blames Barack Obama? I want him to show his birth certificate. To this. I'm saying it's a real possibility, much greater than I thought two or three weeks ago, Then he has pulled one of the great cons in the history of politics. Yes, correct. And who else? Do you want to see... President Obama birth certificate I've or not? I've seen it. I've seen it. It's it, not the birth certificate. Well, and in one way, it will be very easy if President Obama just show it. Correct. Again, Trump has supported racism through the Barack Obama show me your birth certificate BS that every single American was spoon fed to by the mainstream media. And Obama then did it to shut him up. Plus, Trump's racism was outlined in housing discrimination in his apartments, to demanding even black employees off his casino floors, to even saying this of minorities in the country. Is this you discussing Indian blood? We're going to judge people by whether they have Indian blood, whether they're qualified to run a gaming casino or not? Uh, I, that probably is me, absolutely. I will tell you right now, uh, they don't look like Indians to me. So undeniably racist. When kooky crazy Karen spews her illogical ideals, it is a playbook being followed. The President of the United States loves anyone who supports him because all he has desired his entire life is unlimited power without being checked. He despised the DOJ over his apartments. Anyone who criticizes him receives a mean tweet. Thus, you have an entire party's implicitness. It does not matter who you are, where you're located. It doesn't matter. If you support POTUS, he propels you. Look at this racist in training. He spoke at the RNC. Hydroxy was touted by a disgraced doctor, but it received endless recognition from the president. He praised QAnon. Karen here is fair game because these people have been given a safe space in society to say whatever, wherever, and whenever without a single person in power saying, hey, that's not accurate because... As Rudy Giuliani put it. Truth is truth. I, I don't mean to go like. I, no, I it isn't truth. Truth isn't truth. 